Hello, hello, hello. I just pressed the go live. I'm going to make sure that you can hear me before I get started because I have something very important to share with you today. I hope you can hear me while I, or see me rather, while I lean over and check this out because my phone is about to die. All right. Um, so <coughs> in the description of this video, I share with you that one of my big dreams is to empower people to create prosperity without having to be a salesperson. Now, I don't know about you, but I never really saw myself as selling anything to somebody, right? I, I, I saw myself helping people create prosperity, but I never saw myself in sales, which is really funny because technically we're all in sales, right? Um, for example, when you were younger and you tried to uh, get your parents to let you stay up later, right? You were selling them on it. You know, if you got married, you sold your partner on you. So <clears throat> I never necessarily saw myself in sales, but I saw... I saw being able to help people prosper and create additional income, <clears throat> and a lot of things have come along in, into my life that have helped me find that, and there's one skill set that I've learned can do that for you, and it's something called Forex. Now, I've shared with you uh, what this is uh, before. If you'd like a little bit more information about it, please let me know down below, and I'll give you the free training, but basically, you are looking at a chart. And as long as you can see patterns and follow instructions, you can read these charts, I promise you. So you look at these charts, and based off of historical past stuff, uh, it's telling me that I need to log in. I don't know why it's doing that. Let me make sure that I'm still logged in. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I did it again. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to close this tab, and hopefully this doesn't stop my... my still says I'm live. Okay, so... <clears throat> I don't know what I was just saying, but basically I found something that you don't have to be a salesperson in. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that I've learned tonight from an incredible lady called, Lee, who's called, her name is Lee Allen. Um, basically she's been in Forex uh, for a little over two years now, and she is part of an incredible group of women who are looking to empower, educate, and enrich other women. Now they are all involved with what I'm doing um, as well, and so I'm just sharing with you a little bit about what I learned tonight from Miss Lee Allen. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So uh, make sure you can see it. Okay, so this right now probably looks like a whole bunch of, oh my gosh, what the heck is on your screen right now? Honestly, don't worry about it. We're going to take the cloud off, which is amazing, and the fractal, and we're just going to look at what's called a naked chart. Now, in my five-day boot camp that I do have for you for free, if you want, to, want that boot camp, let me know down below. I talk about what are candlesticks, these things right here, how you can use them to create income, which is the number of pips, right, which is the um, exchange between these two currencies, um, and all that good stuff. But what I'm sharing with you tonight is more about how to um, find ways to get into a trade, um, suggestions on getting out of a trade, because just like with all um, investments, there is some financial risk involved. But the more you know about it, the less likely you're going to have such risk because you are fine-tuning your strategy so that you can be very successful in these markets. And I promise you that you can. <clears throat> now, past results do not dictate nor guarantee your success nor are your results um, in the future guaranteed. All that's guaranteed is your results will be determined by your actions. I am not a licensed professional. Please do speak with a licensed professional uh, advisor if you decide to invest. I'm simply sharing with you education, what I'm learning from people who are doing this full time. And, um, you know, so I've always heard when someone has what you want, you do what they do. So here I am and I'm teaching you. So, one of the things that I was learning tonight with Lee is that on these charts, she normally starts with the month chart. Now, what this means is for the what you're seeing, each of these candles <clears throat> represents one month of time for this particular currency pair, which is the British pound Swiss franc or the GBP CHF. Now, why did I choose this pair? I chose this pair because of a particular app on my phone that helps you determine which currencies are um, stronger in the market. And right now on the one hour chart, the GBP CHF is extremely strong in the buy, which basically means that the British pound um, is worth more than, than the Swiss franc. So I'm sorry. Yeah, so it, it would be a buy. So right now you may not be able to see that. Maybe you've never seen this before. Maybe you're a pro. I'm going to show you step by step what she was talking about tonight. 
So let me make sure that you can still see it. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> So the first thing that she said, and this is, I'm actually doing this with you because this was the homework. Um, with the platform that I use to learn this, there is so much training available to you and I was able to catch one of her recordings. And so I'm doing my homework to make sure that I'm, I can um, implement what I've been learning. All right, so <clears throat> she said on the monthly chart, was it monthly or was it daily? Pretty sure it was monthly, but I'm going to start up monthly um, to show you some uh, some other tricks as well. But the homework specifically stated daily chart, so we'll start on the daily and do the homework, and I'll spread out from there. So on the daily chart, we're going to reload this chart and zoom in a bit. She said to put a vertical line on the chart for eight months ago. So eight months ago would be February 16th. So I'm going to create a vertical line, February 16th. Now there's stuff to the left of this. We're not gonna really look at that too much right now, um, but this is, there's a reason for this, all right? So, the longer the the stuff to the left is going to help you in determining better support and resistance. Now, what is support and resistance? Support and resistance is the level of the currency rate that the the um, price action, which is how how the price interacts, how it's going up and down in this chart. <clears throat> a support and resistance line basically means a place where it had trouble getting past that point, whether up or down. So she starts out with about eight months, and so she really doesn't use anything to the left unless it's absolutely necessary, and I'll show you that here in a second. So here's the eight-month mark. We're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. <clears throat> so we've done the eight-month mark, um, and now to draw our major support and resistance line. So how do you draw that? You basically look at where you are right now on the price structure. So we're right here, and we look for the closest, um, basically top and bottom. So um, they are also called pivot points. <clears throat> they are also called turns in the market when it goes from a downtrend to an uptrend. So um, for example, and of course I forgot this again, but a downtrend basically means that your candles are going from higher highs to lower highs and lower lows to lower lows. Right, so let me go ahead and get this going so I can show you. So right here was a trend reversal and there's actually an M pattern that had formed. So that is a reversal pattern, meaning that it, it's in, um, indicative that's going to go down, which it did. Um, but this, there's a reversal here where it's going from an uptrend to a downtrend. And it is more, you know, there's going to be lots of them throughout these charts, <clears throat> but you can use these to determine when your entry is going to come in, when your stop loss is going to be put, which is basically when you're going to get out if the trade goes in the opposite direction of what you're hoping for, and your take profits, which is where you would take profit from making these trades. So first things first, like I said, she said uh, the homework is to draw the support and resistance lines. So I'm going to get a horizontal line, put it on the closest... Um, pivot, which would probably be, um, she says to try and get ones that hit the most wicks, and actually, let me step back on that, she uses a different candle, she uses the line, which looks like this, it's basically the same thing, um, they're just read a little differently, so with candlesticks, and like I said in uh, my five-day boot camp, which if you want more information, let me know down below. But in my five-day boot camp, um, I talk about how these candles work, like what's an OHLC or open, high, low, close, and how to read those candles. Um, but she prefers to use the line, so we're going to use that today. Uh, so again, support resistance. So the most recent support and resistance, this could be a support here. There's two, three four or five points here, so we can use this one as a support resistance. I'm actually going to lock it into place for now and change the color. <coughs> Since we're on the daily, um, I wanna 
keep the colors in alignment with those charts. And she uses a particular <clears throat> uh, color for daily, monthly, et cetera. So I'm trying to keep in line with that. So there's the most re recent support resistance. And as you can see right here, not only did this come up and break support resistance, right? It also did a what's called a PAC, a pass and check. So it came up, a pass that line, came back and retested. That's what that calls. It retested here, shot back up, came back down, and it's trying to go back up again. So right now, this section right here looks like a continuation. It could go up, it could go down. That's part of what chart reading is about. You know, you find ways to capture these price changes so that you can create additional income from them. <clears throat> All right, so I did my first support resistance. Um, oh, there's one that she says to do right where we are. So we're going to do it at the top of where, of where we're at right now, which is actually a good support resistance line. I'm going to also start putting words on here. So current price. Uh, for this one, <clears throat> support and resistance. I can't remember what she called it on hers. We'll do a few more. She suggests to do two to three up and up and down. So here's <clears throat> here's one. <coughs> Excuse me. It hit several. And we're going to do one more because, again, it's the closest to where we are in our current price. And even if it matches stuff past the left line, <coughs> the perpendicular line we had, that's okay because market loves structure and it always just likes to come back and, and do the same things. So we have three. Um, we'll do upper support and resistance. This one, upper support and resistance. Uh, one more. Could be this one, or it could be one of these. Basically, you want to look for one that's more likely to have multiple touches. This one looks like it does have a few but price is closer to here. So we want to be, we want to make sure that we capture the price um, as close to what we need as possible. So, <clears throat> so I would say this would be a good one for now. So upper support and resistance. <laughs> okay. I'm going to expand on this a little bit. I'm going to look for lower support resistance. So like I said, this is currently in a buy that I'm expecting it to go into. So I'm not surprised that there's not a whole lot here. I'm going to leave it here. Lower support and resistance. And since there's so much here, um, one of the things that she does suggest when there's so much extra space is to look past that left line. So this is where it's going to help you start to see where some possible options might be. So we see that this might actually be closer to this point here. Let's see if we want to move that. So it's slightly above where it retested here, but it's a good place, and it hits this tip right here. Um, and right there, so that's a great place. So and since this still is a very large channel, in fact, it is about 95 pips. <clears throat> what that means is if you were uh, trading on a standard lot, which is a 1.0 size, and this is something I also share in my five-day boot camp, this could be worth... 959 bucks. That's pretty insane. And we see that it hit that um, price range here. In less than a day. 
So in less than a day, it hit 90 some odd pips. So in less than a day, you could have earned $900 by trading um, this way. So like, it's, like I said, this is something where you don't have to sell anybody. It's pretty freaking cool. So since there are other options to the left of this, I'm going to go ahead and add some more. So this is the current um, prices up here. This one might be one. This one might be one. So let's go with, let's do this actually. about, well, it's not even 10 pips, so, one, two, oh no, I guess that is the lower one, <laughs> home, lower, SNR, so is there one, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more, one, two, three, one, two, no, I'm going to move this one up, That's a good one. Just leave it there. I'll just add another one. And you can, you uh, everybody sees the charts differently. So, you know, you may see something that I don't. Maybe I see something that you don't. I'm going to go ahead and change that color. Okay. So, uh, and if you're blue, green, um, colorblind, please feel free to message me the next time and I'll be sure to change these colors. <coughs> But right now, the price is still going up. There's a couple of things that you can do with this. And actually, make sure that, let me make sure that this homework is done. Mark three, mark entry, take stop profit. Okay. So for this chart, she did say to mark our entry, three take, three take profits, and three stop losses. Now, what I'm about to share with you, I am not giving you a signal. Um, here in America, it is illegal for someone to give trading signals who are not uh, financial uh, licensed financial advisors. So I'm simply sharing with you what I see here. I'm not telling you to get into the trade. I'm telling you what I'm seeing here and what I will likely do here on my demo account because I am still trading demo because I'm learning. So <clears throat> right now we're here. I'm not going to pay attention to any of that. So I'm going to take my little handy dandy magnifying glass. And I see that the current price is about there. It hasn't quite hit that um, level yet. So it's either going to come down or it's going to go up. Those are the only two directions that price can go. <coughs> so what I would do, uh, do it this way. So since I believe it's going to go up, and there are other indicators here that you can use, um, the Ichimoku cloud did show that it was in a buy, so I'm going to say that it's going to go up. And this is a buy signal, and again, I am not telling you how to invest your money. This looks like a buy signal for the British pound Swiss franc. Um, the current price is about here, but based off of where I put it before, actually I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and move that and put it there on the price. <clears throat> so on here, I think it's going to go by. And I think that the entry could be that 1.30148 with a stop loss at that lower one. So this is where I think it's going to, or where I <clears throat> saying that it could be an entry price. This is where I think, actually, this might also be a good good one is to do as well as right here. Because it was such a sharp turn there. Or SNR. So the stop loss could be at 1.29930. Take profit one could be this upper one right here. Uh, I'm not sure how that one got there. Oh, it was over on the left side. So it could be 1.301318. No, wait, 3, 30318. 30, yep. Um, take profit two could be 
1.30499. And then take profit three might be this one. So that's what it could be if it were on the buy. So if this trade were to keep going in the direction that I expect it to, we could see it hit all three of those take profits. Now the reason why I keep saying possibly and could is because, again, with investing there is some risk. It might go the opposite direction. I'm simply telling you what, based on what I'm learning, <clears throat> could help you with your trading efforts. Now let's say that we did, instead of a buy, there was something else on the chart that told us that it could be a sell. What you could do is you could have a sell, sell limit. Now, what is a sell limit? A sell limit is when it goes, it could be going past it or it could be going um, up and down. Well, I don't know. That's if I, can, I don't think that helps. Hold on. So let's say you had price action that came down and then back up to retest and then back came back down again. You would not get into the trade until it came back down through whatever entry price you said, right? So whether it came up from here and hit B, or whether it came down and then up and hit B, and then it went back down, that's a sell limit, right? So it went up and then came back down. That's, that's basically what that is. And if you wanted a buy limit, be the opposite direction. So if for some reason there was something that was showing that this would be a sell, you could do a sell limit, probably something below here because again, <laughs> we're expecting this to be a buy. So maybe 130113, 30113, um, with the stop loss higher than that one. So we would say the current price would be the stop loss. So 130, oops, not that one. 1.30148, take profit one being this one, so 1.29930, 1 1.29930, and take profit two being 129, nine three zero. oh no, 831. And then take profit three would be there if it went in a sell instead of a buy, which from what I saw earlier and with the currency heat wave, which if you want that training, say heat wave down below. <clears throat> but with the heat wave, this looks like it's going in as a buy as well. So take profit three for the sell would be 29320. So this was my homework for what I learned from Lee Allen. Again, these are not signals for you to take because you need to be doing your own analysis, quite frankly. But if you would like to learn more about what I've been learning about, if you would like direct access to all the educators and all the training that I have on this so that you can learn this skill set as well, please do feel, re feel free to reach out. This is something that I wish I had learned in college, in high school. I mean, this is something that I firmly believe could have paid for my college. It is that big. So again, past results do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. Please do um, your own research, speak with a licensed financial advisor. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm learning from people who have what I want, which is the lifestyle that I want, which is doing what you want, when you want, for however long you want to do it without fear of where the money is going to be coming from, because you can trade from your phone. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, one more thing I want to share with you before we go so you can see a little bit about what I was talking about here. Let me go ahead and this is not. Yes, it is. 
So I have just turned on the Ichimoku Cloud, something that Adese Duncan has shared on her channel. Again, one of the educators that I've been talking about. And as soon as it decides to load, oh, it's already loaded. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to change this back to bars because I haven't looked at the line chart on the Ichimoku Cloud, but this is going to be amazing, I'm sure. Once it loads. Where is the... What? Oh, I don't know what's going on right now. Hold on. Refresh. Uh, maybe not. Save and refresh. Maybe. Save. Refresh. Mmm. It's not too happy with me, it seems. Oh, there we go. So the Ichimoku Cloud confirms that it's in a buy. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be doing. <coughs> Um, and if you want to see what this trade does, I will do a live on it later this week. So thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Cassandra, a.k.a. the Prosperous Heart and Daily Wealth Ninja. Uh, feel free to message me if you'd like more information or leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reach back out to you. So again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.